Hey guys, welcome back to Rope. Hope you guys are doing well. Staying safe. And today, this is a very exciting video because this video we're gonna take a first look at the latest product from Raspberry Pi, and that is the Raspberry Pi Pico. Stay tuned. So the Raspberry Pi Pico is a very budget friendly board developed by Raspberry Pi and this is a very small compact pocket friendly board that you can just take and travel anywhere and just do your work. It's not a hassle to carry this to your workplace or anything like that. Also this is the cheapest board that Raspberry Pi has come up with yet in rupees that is. So in this video we're just going to talk about the features like take an overview of what this product is and what it offers compared to the other Raspberry Pi products. The main feature of this board is the RP2040 chipset that is developed by Raspberry Pi itself. That is a low cost high performance chipset developed by Raspberry Pi and it supports C, C++ and MicroPython coding. Which means if you're a beginner and want to start coding and learn and make projects on these programming languages the Raspberry Pi Pico is the way to go. If you take a physical overview of this, this is a very small, tiny little board that they have developed. And it just has one port and that is the USB port, which would be connecting this port to your PC or your laptop, anything like that. And the others are just like peripherals and sensors and everything that are mounted onto this board. So the main thing that you see in the center is the RP2040 chipset that Raspberry Pi have developed themselves. And there's a boot cell button which is help us to connect this thing to your laptop or your PC and then just start coding and programming. So yeah, physically if you look at it, it's a very small board and it's very lightweight too. The Raspberry Pi Pico has a dual core ARM Cortex M0 Plus processor which is flexible clock running up to 133 megahertz. It has an SRAM of 264KB and a 2MB flash storage memory on board. So if you see compared to the other pipe development boards, there is no SD card slot or anything like that on this board because you don't need to put in the OS inside of this. The way you can program this is just connect this to your computer and just drag and drop the files and then you can just start programming. We'll be making a separate video on how to program this thing, how to connect this to your computer or laptop and start programming because this is a little bit different compared to the other Pi products and it needs a little explanation to do. So we're gonna make a video on this very soon, that is tomorrow, so subscribe for that if you already haven't. It has low power and dormant modes and it also has a temperature sensor built right onto it. It has 26 GPIO pins which contain two SPI, two I2C, two UART, three 12 bit ADC pins, and 16 controllable PWM channels. It also has eight programmable IO pins for custom peripheral support. So, overall, the board is filled with more than enough features, and it is a clear standout in the budget that it is launching in. So, yeah, budget friendly, very compact, and a perfect little board for you to just start learning or make projects on this on the go. The Pico is a no-brainer of a purchase because of the price that it is launching it. It is very cheap. I think everyone who already has the Raspberry Pi or wants to get into the Raspberry Pi world needs to get this one because this is a no-brainer of a purchase and this is really good. The next video that will be coming on it is how to program this thing with on your laptop and computer because this doesn't have a micro SD card again. So we don't have to put in your OS and everything inside of it. So it works solely on your laptop or computer you don't have other accessories for it to be controlling you just have to work on your laptop or your computer it's great i feel that is a really good move to go ahead with with such a compact board you just don't need any other peripherals for it because then that defeats the purpose of it being very compact and pocket friendly so yeah then just adding one usb pin to just connect it to your laptop and then using it from there is a smart move so yeah, again, no brainer of a purchase, just get this thing. You can get this thing right now on our site, that is www.robo.in. There'll be a link down in the description, which will take you directly to the page of this product. You can just get it from there. We're coming up with a lot more content on the Raspberry Pi Pico, so subscribe for that. And we'll be showing you tomorrow in a separate video on how to program this on your laptop or your PC. Like this video, share it with the friends. Let as many people know about this cool little budget-friendly board by Raspberry Pi as you can. And so comment down below if you have any other questions about this board, we'll be answering them. And that has been it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.